Uh, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to um, talk to you guys about connective tissue disease related ILD. Uh, so with that, let me share my screen here. What is a connective tissue disease related ILD? Well, to define that, we need to know what is a connective tissue disease. So a connective tissue disease is a spectrum of systemic autoimmune conditions characterized by immune dysregulation, formation of autoantibodies, and immune-mediated organ dysfunction. That's a lot of medical words. So I'm going to break that down for you. So it's systemic, meaning that it affects the entire body. It is an autoimmune disease, uh, which is based on um, the immune system going haywire and starting to make antibodies against your own body. Uh, so that's the formation of autoantibodies. And those antibodies mediate damage to various organs and causes inflammation and fibrosis and other problems throughout the body. So that is what a connective tissue disease is. So what is an interstitial lung disease? Well, I think to answer that question, um, we need to, to talk a little bit about um, what ILD is. And ILD is a recognized group of diseases characterized by a combination of chronic inflammation within the lungs and varying degrees of lung fibrosis. So chronic inflammation consists of accumulation of inflammatory cells like lymphocytes and macrophages and various uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines, all of which leads to inflammation that eventually can sometimes lead to pulmonary fibrosis. So it's important to know that ILD can manifest primarily as an inflammatory lung disease with little, if any, features of fibrosis. And these ILDs that are more inflammatory tend to be favorable um, response to anti-inflammatories and immunosuppressive treatments. And ILD can also, on the other spectrum, primarily be a fibrotic pulmonary process. And th these generally have a very poor prognosis and they have a lot limited efficacious therapies that are available for treatment. And ILD can span the gamut. There can be varying degrees of that inflammation and fibrosis. Um, and then the other big thing I wanted to, to point out here and um, is that, that you can see here um, this uh, diagram, which sort of talks about ILD as a blanket and basically covers everything. And within that sort of spectrum, we have a small population of pulmonary fibrosis uh, within which you can see there's smoking related ILDs autoimmune-related ILDs, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, medication-induced ILDs, uh, occupation-related or exposure-related ILDs, and obviously uh, the most common being IPF and other idiopathic pneumonias. ILD is a known manifestation of CTD associated with increased mor morbidity and mortality, RA, scleroderma, and myositis, and to a lesser extent, Sjogren's disease, lupus, and mixed connective tissue diseases are the most common CTDs to manifest with ILD. It's important to have a high degree of suspicion uh, for the possibility of CTD ILD because ILD can actually be the first presenting finding and can precede the extrapulmonary symptoms. A multidisciplinary approach is crucial to the diagnosis and treatment of CTD ILD. And the treatment of CTD ILD depends on various factors, including the CTD subtype, risk of progression, severity, symptoms, trajectory of disease, comorbidities, likelihood of response to treatment, side effects, and patient preferences. And treatment typically consists of immunosuppression and antifibrotic therapy.